What's up guys, it's Dman10 here, and today I'll be showing you how to downgrade from the 4.3.5 firmware down to your um, selected firmware that you want to downgrade to. Um, so say on accident you updated to 4.3.5 or whatever firmware you're on, and you want to downgrade, either it's buggy, you can't jailbreak on it, whatever, whatever the case is. I'll show you how to do it. First open up iTunes, get your device. Um, all set up here. Um, there is a couple ways you can do this. Um, there's one way where you can use Tiny Umbrella, which is something I only use when it's needed. Like it won't let me downgrade through iTunes. Um, another thing is restoring your iPod before doing it. Um, I mean, either way, when you downgrade, you have to have a restored device. So, I mean, if you want to restore and get a clean slate on your device, that's fine. Um, just make sure your host files are edited before you do it so that it lets you downgrade. Um, I checked my my host files here. You see that I have no GS Apple lines and if you have no idea what I'm talking about I'll leave an annotation of a video I, I uh, did to how to edit um, host files on Mac and so that'll help you with downgrading if you're having trouble. Now, first you want to do is you want to select over here devices and you want to get your device up here. On Mac, you hit Option Restore, or on Windows, you hit Shift Restore, and you got to go find your firmware. So mine's on my desktop, my jailbreak stuff folder, and I want to downgrade to 4.3.4. So you're going to hit Open, and you're going to hit Restore. Now, if this does give you trouble, you can put your device into DFU mode, which is holding the home and the power button at the same time for about 15 seconds, and then letting go of the power button and keep holding the home button for another 15 seconds. Varies on times, so, you know, like iTunes picks up your device quicker or faster on people's computers, so you're just waiting for the extracting software here. Now, this should go through since I did delete my lines on uh, my host file. So iTunes has no idea that I'm down trying to downgrade at least. See now it won't work for me. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna go check my lines again. If this happens to you, okay, my lines are still fine. I have all the code and everything down in the description below. Now I'm gonna use Tiny Umbrella to downgrade. Tiny Umbrella, when you open it, um, it's going to quit iTunes automatically when you start this server that runs during the iTunes process of downgrading and actually allows iTunes to let it downgrade. So, you can see here, connected devices is this iPod I'm doing. You start TSS server, you can see iTunes is quitting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, now, the log over here is telling you that it's working. So if you go back into your iTunes, let that load up. So obviously I'm gonna back up my device. This is my friend's iPod, it's not mine. <laughs> so you're gonna hit option restore, go find your firmware, open, restore. Hopefully this works, I don't know. Um Lately, iTunes be giving me trouble on Lion. Um, I don't know. They fixed something in Lion that makes it not be able to edit your host file. So if this doesn't work, oh, is it will it work? Let's see here. Okay, so obviously this is a good out route to what you're doing. Um iTunes actually has been lately giving me a lot of trouble. So, um, using uh, Tiny Umbrella helps pretty much patch your downgrade for you. It'll tell iTunes internally, listen, you're downgrading to this firmware, I don't give a shit if you don't want to. <laughs> In layman's terms, that's what that means, really. And now you see that the iPod is restoring. It's so actually, I filmed this video about three times, and... Screen flow quit on me once. Uh, iTunes wouldn't let me downgrade, so I just want to get a straight through shot for you guys, so you know that this is this is legit. You can see now it's restoring. Um, 
But yeah, um, I just downloaded the beta off of Apple.com for the new iTunes. Um, I did have originally have 10.5 because I ha I do have iOS 5. I think that was the problem in my last video where it wouldn't work. Um, the beta iTunes is is like uh, laggy, and so is iOS 5. So, yep, this is working now. This is cool. Um, so if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. I'll keep this video running in real time so you know that I'm not faking anything. Um, and also, um, if you guys could uh, just subscribe to my channel, that'd be really cool. If, and like this video, give me support. Um, I'm trying to get up to like at least 500 is my goal now. I hit 100, that was my last goal. I'm kind of making a big gap this time. I want to get 500 subscribers. I've gotten at least 12 in the last couple days. So, I'm trying to bump up to here. I'm trying to get a little more um, views on my videos. Because I do think, personally, I put out good content. Um, and you guys got to show your support. So, and see what I'm doing wrong. What should I be doing more? Um, I'm trying to get a little better at Final Cut Pro. Um, I have that on my computer. Um, I just put out a video on Mac OS X line. You can check that out. I'll leave everything in the description for you. Um, really anything technology related on the computer or an iPod I have on this channel. So, thank you for checking that out if you do. And, yeah. So we're just finishing up the verifying the iPod software here. And I'm glad this went through because I've been actually sitting here trying to get it to work and... Now, any other computer, I think it's my computer personally that's doing it, because any other, pre I can go to my friend's house and it'll work the first time. Um, so the, this guide will is legit, and it will work on your computer, I guarantee it. If not, leave me a comment down below, and I'll try to figure this out for you. I leave, I, like, uh, reply to all my comments, anyone that needs help or anything, I feel bad, like, because for me, when I comment on a video on a other big YouTuber, and they don't answer me, I feel like, like, why would I even comment? Like, why would I even bother? So, I try to answer everyone, and I usually do. So, if not, send me, like, a message or something like that if you need help. I always answer messages. So, that's basically it. Enough rambling. This is finishing up here. My neighbors are playing music. Probably gonna get copyright infringement now. <laughs> Having a pool party or something. Shh, quiet down. Do you hear this right now? It's freaking belting out music and such. Set up as a new iPod, that's what I always do when I restore. Obviously, this is not mine, it's my friend Josiah's. So I'm gonna name it Josiah's iPod. Hit done. It's gonna sync up. And that's basically it, guys. So, it's fishing sinking here now. And if you slide to unlock, you can see. I'll show you. I don't know how good it's going to show up on my FaceTime camera here. General about. And I am on 4.3.4. I don't know how good you can see that. I'm just going to move it up and down really slowly so you can see it. <laughs> but it does say it right here on the screen. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and hit the subscribe button up above for more videos like this. Um, I try to do tutorials and reviews for you guys, so give me a thumbs up down below for some support. Thanks a lot. Peace out.